My senior year, I had cancer. Three operations removing a lot of this muscle from my arm. Dixie was my girlfriend at that time, and she was from Roy High School. She was an encourager. She was a very, very positive person. And Dixie would come down with me to the to the. Uh, Dixie would come down to me to, with me to the LDS hospital after school to get my cancer treatments, my radiation treatments. And there was some two nurses that were beautiful down there. One was Joan, and one was Marquette or Markel. I can't. I think it was Marquette and Joan, and they were great, beautiful nurses. They would help me uh, get my shirt off. They'd give me little tattoos and they'd, uh, do radiation on my on my arm. But on the way down there, Dixie and I would go up what we used to call Mile Hill or uh, Gravity Hill, just above the Capitol. There's a road right there, and she would hang out. She would hang out of my dad's Chrysler uh, Chrysler New Yorker, big nice car, and with a bat. And as she would drive up and down the road, as we would drive up this road, she would hang out and she would hit pop bottles. She would hit pop bottles, she would throw, she would hit pop bottles and they'd just explode. It'd just boom, they'd break or explode. And that was our, our fun for going up there. We'd get the bat, hang it out the door, smack pop bottles on the way up the road. And I would, I would take turns, she would drive and then I would drive back and forth. And that's what we would do. Dixie and I would break pop bottles. She was just a great gal. Very, very fun person. Uh, beautiful person, beautiful, um, beautiful, positive uh, attitude, just a great person. Dixie, shits. everybody in the world dated Dixie and liked Dixie. But um, one time as we got done with our my cancer treatments, we were coming back down that same road or hill. It's right by the Capitol, just up from the Capitol. As you start to my go, it's a one-way road now, but if you go north up through that canyon opposite way, just about about a block up the road right there, uh, there, there we were coming back down that road, and I said, Dixie, scoot over by me, because I wanted to hold her, you know, and cuddle to her. She scooted over by me, and I says, and then I spit my gum in her face, which I shouldn't have, and then the gum fell down between my lap, and I'm like embarrassed because it fell down between my lap, and I'm reaching down trying to find the gum so it doesn't get stuck to my legs or, my, or, the, or the seat, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. There's trees coming over the there's trees coming over the car and the car's going up the hill and we're smashing into trees and the trees are just crumpling over over the car the front of the car and we drive up and we hit into a bunch of trees and we wreck the car and Dixie smashes up against the car I think she broke her wrist or I think she broke her wrist or or something like that but anyway it was painful uh, but I wrecked my dad's car and I was just scared my dad was going to kill me because I wrecked his car first we were having fun batting bottles and breaking bottles going up the road. This is back in 1977. Um, but anyway, then we wreck his car. So I walked over, because no one was there, I walked around and walked over to a, this, this guy's house and knocked on the door and says, hey, can we use your phone? I just got in a wreck. The guy let me in. We called Dad and said, Dad, I just got in a wreck. Uh, can you help me with the car? And he goes, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? That's the most important thing. We can always fix metal and glass, but are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm okay. We're okay. Uh, Dixie's hurt. I think she's hurt her hand, but I think we're okay. So anyway, um, we were fine. We wrecked the car. But Dad's concern was about us personally. Are you okay? And he was very caring. He, he cared more about us than he cared about the material things. And I learned a great lesson from that. My dad loved me more than he loved the car. And I have to do that with my kids also. Uh, when, when things get broken or something happens, I try to love them more than I love the item that they broke. That doesn't mean that when Brandon drives a snowmobile and I tell him, hey, you know, if you're going to take the snowmobile, if you break it, you got to pay for it because he wanted to go up certain hills and some of the things were dangerous. And I'm like, you know, you can go up, but you got to fix it if you break it. He goes, okay. So there's a t few times, two or three times he's had to break things. Um, one, one fun story. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell this as the next story.